Welcome back to the channel and today we are diving into an early sneak peek at the 1.8 update and this update brings a handful of things including new blocks, a new cinematic camera, waves in maps other than high seas, um, a kill feed, and a new DLC that has even more blocks and skins and I think even like outfits and stuff. So the devs were kind enough to give me early access to all of this stuff so in this video we're gonna be just looking at everything and just playing with it and seeing what it's all about so let's dive in and i'm gonna go to the danger zone because i want to see waves on a map that i do i play on so much all right here we are in 1.8 isn't it beautiful and whoa there's already waves i didn't even i thought i thought i would have to enable them but it looks like there's a gentle amount of waves by default which is kind of crazy because this map has always had the flattest of oceans uh, which is really nice for if you have like a hover vehicle or things like that. Waves definitely add a little bit of a uh, uh, obstacle for hover vehicles. But I think if we go into our settings, our session, here we go. Session, not settings. So yeah, it is by default, looks like it's on calm. And then look, we can disable it. And this is what the water used to look like. But now we can enable calm and you can see like an immediate change. And then, of course, we can go to intense. And uh, as you can see, things get a little bit more intense. So let's have some intense waves in the background for now. Don't worry, we're going to be playing with the waves soon. I think some of the blocks are going to... We're going to need to be in the water to use some of them. Speaking of which, the other thing that is pretty major is the camera. If I press F5, it actually freezes time. Oh, here we go. We got, we got our camera controls up now. I had my HUD off. So we can use IJKL to uh, move around. And if I use my scroll wheel, I can increase the speed that I move, down, I move around or lower the speed that I move around. Uh, and then I press tab. I can choose to turn on time or stop time. This is going to be amazing for thumbnails. Like this is my favorite. This is my favorite thing to just be able to stop time. We can also change our field of view. Look at this field of view. <laughs> 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 That's actually pretty interesting. All right, let's uh, zoom back into something relatively normal. Um, there we go. Now we're at 90, 70. Okay, we can like do a super... Oh my... Ooh, that actually looks cool. Unfor like when I'm zoomed in this much, every my mouse movements, they like... they Like this is just how much the camera moves in a single mouse movement. I can't move any smaller than this right now. <laughs> oh, we can also tilt the camera. Okay, look at that. That's pretty cool. And then we can also, if I press T, it'll actually look at a player. So now as I move the camera around, you can see it auto tracks and auto focuses on the player. All right, so I think that pretty much sums up the camera. So the other thing, which I don't know if I can test by myself. Oh, we can see there's a bunch of new blocks. But here, let me spawn in something. All right, I'm just gonna quickly let myself die. Whee! And I just want to see if a kill feed shows up. This might ha this might be a multiplayer only thing. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, let's see if anything happens here. Okay, nothing in the kill feed. Let me see. Let me turn invincible characters off and let's try dying again. Oh, okay, there we go. Top right, Scrap Man has been eliminated. That was aggressive. All right, so I think that covers everything that aren't the blocks. So now let's go into the new blocks. So I believe the free blocks that are just included for everyone with the update are these trust blocks. So these things are gonna be really great aesthetically for crane builds or just, it, I mean, really they could be anything. Oh, what are the attachment points on this? Oh, interesting. Oh, these are the size of a square block like that, okay. All right, so we have a two by uh, two, four, six, eight. <laughs> A two by two by eight truss, and then a two by two by two truss. However, these trusses only seem to connect in a straight line. If you're gonna wanna create a T intersection or anything like that, you just gotta put a square block in there or just some other type of block. Cause yeah, I just turned on the uh, connection points and you can see there's only connection points on the tops and bottoms of both of these. And the devs are probably gonna hate me for saying this, but you know what I feel like is, is gonna end up be happening as time goes on with this, with the truss blocks. We're going to need a trust category. 
and there's gonna have to be these types of trusses so we can create full trust systems that all interconnect and T intersect and all that stuff. I'm not saying it has to go there. I'm just saying I can see it go in there. I think over here, there's another free block, probably under lights. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I gotta buy it. Oh, so these three are new, but I think these are part of the rescue pack. The signal flare and the emergency light. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Those seem rescue oriented. But the firework, I believe, is free with the 1.8 update. But I've got to buy it. Oh, how much money do I got? I only have 84,000. Well, I'm broke now. Fireworks. Oh, it's so small. It looked bigger in here. Okay, that's good. All right, let's just put, stick it on the back here. And I don't know, space. Okay, ready? Pew! Oh, there we go. Ooh. Hey, what if I face it forward? All right, ready? Pew! Ooh. All right, I'm holding the... Oh, it is... Wait. Oh, no, it isn't a one-time use. Oh, interesting. So the base stays there. And then... Is it contact-based, too? Let me fire it at this. Ready? Oh, Awesome! So not only does it, it has like a timed explosion or there settings on it, but uh, it also seems to have a contact explosion. Okay, there are no settings on it. So it doesn't look like you, you can't, at least not yet, you can't set the time it takes to explode. I'm going to do different colors too. I'm, I'm thinking if you just paint them, you probably get different color fireworks. All right, ready, go. Oh. I, I, I was holding the button down the whole time. Alrighty, just one, two, three, four. All right, well, oh, wait, we, we gotta turn it on nighttime real quick. Ready? Oh, yeah. I wonder if they do damage. Damage test. Okay, no damage. Oh, hold on, let me get even closer. Oh yeah, I don't think they do damage. So no, we're not gonna be having fireworks battles, okay? I'm dead. Okay, so I think that covers all of the stuff that just comes with 1.8 and what's left over is the DLC. So the rescue DLC is of course by the name, it is all the rescue vehicles and rescue parts and things just in that nature. Let's see here, let's go into propulsion. Wait, there's new propulsion? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, tail propeller. So this will be good for helicopters. Here, let me spawn in this helicopter real quick. So now, well, this helicopter is not built for this dimension. All right, let me set them to buttons that are not being used by anything else. Let's just do U and O. All right, so now we got U and O. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Okay, this takes a while to ramp up. That's something to consider. This could also be really good for small, compact VTOLs as well, especially like the futuristic kinds. All right, so let me get up in the air here. Let's see if it has a faster reaction if I'm just uh, hovering. All right, ready? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's easier. Oh yeah, it's actually not too bad. It just takes a while. It'll ramp up stronger and stronger the longer you hold it down. But here, now I can stop. And there we go. You could probably, it might be interesting to try, but I wonder how hard it would be to actually dial this into a propeller or a, uh, a helicopter where you only have a single rotor and you don't have to have the counter spinning rotors. So then you use one of these tail things to counteract the torque. I mean, you could tr have already tried to do that with the, um, the small propeller that we currently have. But yeah, then of course you could also just have these be uh, horizontal and you could use these as a, a lift propeller as well all right so i think that's it in the propulsion category and see now this is what this is what's confusing me the red dot went away on the propulsion category but why has it not gone away in the frame category i don't see anything that says new all right well let's move on anyway lift and drag here we go what are we gonna get there it is large stabilizer a large vertical stabilizer with integrated flap. Ooh. So the wings update was missing this. So, well, this would be better for like a bomber plane for sure. Cause this is really big. Oh, it is a two by, it is, a, it is too wide. Okay. Wow. That is large. Holy cow. All right. Let's see how it feels. I never really use yaw that much. The weight of this is 10 kilograms. 
as opposed to the regular tail, which is for, so it's double the weight, more than double the weight of the, uh, the other tail, which, I mean, it makes sense. It's like, it's really big. There we go. Okay. It has a little bit of adverse roll because it's above my center of mass, but hey, it works. It works perfectly fine. It works as intended and it actually looks super cool too. And interesting. Let me, I, get, I need to look at those attachment points real quick. Here, let me change the, okay. Interesting. So we can attach blocks to it like right here. All right. So I think that's it for the wings category, the lift and drag category up next. We got balance. So I think this, okay, there, this is where there's a lot more. This is all rescue boat based. So let's spawn over in the water now. Whoa. Oh, that confused me. I was like, ah, oh, I haven't seen this spawn point with the waves. It makes sense. Like the spawn point isn't going to move up and down with the waves. So I'm moving up and down below the spawn point. I forgot we had waves. All right, let me get out of here. It's distracting. So now what we've got for new parts is dinghy side block. So I'm assuming these are boy a buoyant block. Yep, that that my assumption was correct. And then a dinghy corner block. So we can do that. And then we can do this. And I should probably have a seat as well. We also have a keel and a bow. So here, let's see what that looks like. Okay, this is not the build for, for the keel and the bow. Actually, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, there is bottom connections on this too. So then I can delete that. Oh, look at this. That actually works pretty well. The only thing is I should make it slightly wider. And then we do have one little problem where we have a gap in the front now. There we go. I think I figured it out. All right. So here is our little dinghy. I feel like maybe we can add just a little bit more buoyancy in the back. All right. And go. Oh, boy. This is the thing with dinghies with uh, powerful engines. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Maybe I shouldn't have intense waves. Uh... <laughs> I mean, this thing works, though. It's a super quick and easy build using all the new rescue pack buoyancy parts. Look at this. Oh, this looks beautiful. And ready? Oh, yeah. Then you can get the most beautiful, the most beautiful screenshots. The only thing that's missing from the camera is a slow-mo option, a speed, a speed adjustment. All right. So we got definitely got some other stuff here. Um, one of the things was in the lights category. Oh, yeah. We have a signal flare. Let's say we get lost at sea. Let's have two signal flares. I'll paint them different colors. The waves were too much for me. My engine flooded or something. Somebody send help. Oh, there we go. Uh, hold on. I need, I actually need to use the camera now. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, I'll press number two. Or number one, number two. I actually forgot. So in the camera, there's input settings. So right now I can't use the, the controls from my, uh, from my creation because it has block player input mode. So if I press V, uh, I can change that to none. And now when I turn time back on and I press number two, now you can see I've sent out my other signal flare. Are they redoable? Oh, they are. Whoa. Oh, okay. I was like, how did it go so far? But I realized the waves are changing my angle completely. All right. Both at the same time. That's cool how they stay up there. Let's get some distance. Because if you're going to do a signal flare for like a rescue mission or something, you're definitely going to need to see it from a distance. Barely see him from way over. That's pretty far, though. All right. Oh, you know what? Oh, we got to do nighttime. Send up the flare. Oh, that looks cool. Seeing the flash from the uh, from the flare as well. Look at that. Yeah, you can see those from pretty far away. I wonder if there's like a despawn distance. Here, let's go back as far as we can. I mean, even from here, you could still kind of see it. Here, I'm going to shoot them again. Look at that. You can see them go up. Wow. You can really see those from far away. All right. And we're zooming. We're zooming. Slow down. Oh, I went way too fast. The camera has like a, it has momentum. If you're the faster you go, the longer it takes to stop. All right. And I'm actually going to stay in nighttime for now because one of the other things we have is an emergency light for your emergency vehicle. So I could actually switch this to face up like that. And we could have a police dinghy. This is a half emergency light. And then you got to do this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. And now I can have one side be blue. All right. Now, what are the settings on these? All right. Just normal stuff. Let's set the toggle to 
number three now. All right, ready? Number three. Oh, they are on. I feel like because I'm on the water, they don't reflect very well. All right, you know what I think we got to do to actually make like a, a police effect? All right, let's go. We'll, we'll have this delay by a quarter of a second. It's going to last a quarter of a second and then pause for a quarter of a second. And then this one is going to last for a quarter of a second and then pause for a quarter of a second. Does this work as I expect it's going to work? There we go. There we go. Now we got police lights. I feel like they should have a little bit more of an illumination effect around the vehicle. Let's see how it looks in the daytime too. Well, there you go. Now you know how to program a police light or a rescue light. This could be rescue too if it was just, I think if they were both red. Actually, I think fire truck would be like what? Red and white. Ooh, the white one looks really bright. All right, we also have sound, a new sound maker, which is a fire truck siren. We're just gonna be um, ocean fire rescue. I mean, boats catch on fire. I was gonna say we're in the water. There's probably not a whole lot of fires happening, but sometimes oil spills happen. Sometimes boats catch fire. So we are going to be the emergency fire rescue dinghy. So we can change the pitch of it. Let's start at default. Gonna have the lights on for this. <laughs> all right, so that's default. Let's uh, pump the pitch all the way up. Oh, 24. That's gonna be two octaves, isn't it? All right, ready? Okay, not only is it pitch, but it is also speed. Oh, I just realized that this is also on space. So I was like, why is that? There's a like an extra, there's like a vacuum noise going on. All right, here we go. Now you can hear it by itself without the annoying uh, propeller. All right, let's go back up to maximum. That's so funny. I could just see someone creating like the tiniest little police car and that's the, that's the siren that it has. All right, let's go like this. That's a good one. That's a good one for police sound. Oh, I forgot about cosmetics. Customization. Here we go. Here's the rescue. So we got this rescue outfit. Oh, let's go to hat. That probably has a hat that goes with it. We got our hard hat. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got our firefighter outfit. We have a high viz, which I guess the hard hat goes with that. We should probably call it a hard hat yellow. And we got a thief. Oh, you can play cops and robbers. Oh, let's not have that be that color. There we go. And then the secondary color. There we go. I guess we could be like, like that. Yeah, you can change change both the mask and the hat color independently. That's pretty cool. Hey, okay, what about the thief outfit? So your stripe colors and your pants colors is the other one. Interesting. Hold on. What about the... Oh, okay. Firefighter outfits are usually like kind of black-ish like that. And then what's the secondary color? Looks like secondary color doesn't really affect the firefighter outfit. What about high viz? All right, we got a shirt and our pants and tie. That makes sense. All right, then we've got police officer. I think obviously we got to go dark blue. Police officer outfit as well. What would this be? Like dark blue there, slightly lighter blue or something, or black, gray. I'm not used to seeing police in overalls. <laughs> I should probably color this thing a little bit more rescue themed, huh? Yellow with that. That feels rescue-y to me. Yeah. There we go. 1.8 rescue updates. So I don't think I, I hope I didn't miss anything. I mean, if I did, you're going to see it in future videos. I'm sure you can point it out to me and I'll definitely cover it. So now that we have all this new stuff, uh, some new multiplayer options are definitely available to us. We could totally do some rescue missions or just our cops and robbers type stuff. So if you have any ideas on how those things, how, like, how you'd like to see those things work uh, to make them fun and interesting, let us know down in the comments below because uh, it's just in the early stages of just just thinking about it right now for the first time. So there's probably a lot of fun that could be had with that. So what do you guys want to see with all the new parts? And uh, which parts are you most looking forward to playing with? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.